Police probe friendly fire incident in Abia State. Officers mistake colleagues for IPOP members. NYSC uncovers shocking fraud. Bread seller mobilized as university graduate. Bilonia philanthropist Dr. Adedeji Adeleke donates 1 billion naira to CNS Church in honor of late mother. Welcome to Akai Update. My name is Joseph Iyaji. Intensive tutorial for students preparing for post TME, pre degree, school of nursing, and JUPEP entrance exams is currently in progress at Akai Tutors in Leife. Akai Tutors is located at number 67 Odudua College Road of Sabo Junction in the heart of Ileife. Should you are interested for enrollment and accommodation reservation, you can contact the management of Akai Tutors on 080-386-44328. Thank you. In a remarkable display of generosity and devotion, billionaire businessman Dr. Adedeji Adeleke, father of renowned musician Davido, made a staggering donation of 1 billion naira to the Centenary Endowment Fund of the Keribu and Seraphim CNS Church during a Thanksgiving service at the church headquarters in Lagos. The donation was made in honor of his late mother, Madame Esther Adeleke, and was met with applause and loud chants from the congregation. Dignitaries in attendance, including Governor Dakbo Abiodu of Ogo State, Governor Ademola Adeleke of Osho State, and Governor Sowolu of Lagos State, all smiled in approval of the generous gesture. Dr. Adeleke's philanthropic efforts have made a significant impact on various communities, and his donation is a testament to his commitment to giving back to society. The funds will likely support various initiatives and charitable causes within the church and beyond. For details, on this update, you can visit latestgist.org or akainews.org. The National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, has exposed a stunning case of fraud involving the University of Calabar, Cross River State, where a bread seller with no university education was mobilized for NYSC scheme. Director General, Brigadier General Yushan Ahmed revealed that this incident led to the voiding of 101 certificates, bringing the total to 178 invalidated certificates. The NYSC is taking decisive action to clean up its mobilization process, ensuring only qualified graduates are enlisted. Brigadier General Ahmed praised University of Calabar's Vice Chancellor, Professor Florence Obi, for her integrity in reporting the issue, which involved unqualified individuals being mobilized as graduates from her institution. This collaboration highlights the NYSC commitment to transparency and accountability. For details on this update, you can visit latestgist.org or akainews.org. The Abia State Police Command has launched an investigation into a bizarre incident where police operatives exchanged gunfire with each other, mistaking themselves for members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. The confusion occurred on Wednesday in the Alaoji area of Abba, Abba, the commercial hub of the state. According to eyewitnesses, a police patrol team from Abba mistook a team from Umoya who were operating in commercial buses 
for IPOP members. The resulting shootout sent shop owners and passers-by scrambling for safety to avoid stray bullets. The police are working to unravel the circumstances surrounding the incident, which highlights concern about mistaken identity and communication breakdowns within the force. For details on this update, you can visit latestgist.org or akainews.org. Thank you for joining me in this segment of my news update. I am Joseph Iyaji and this is Akai Update. Thank you.